Hey everyone, this is Normandy1998 here, here to give you yet another theory video. Yep, it's two in one day, but this will be on a whole new topic, not Minecraft story mode, Steven Universe, and hopefully I'll be doing more of these because I love the show. Now just say, the reason I don't have Steven Universe photos in the background, or a picture, or maybe my own little fan art bit, I'm not the round table, I'm just a random guy on YouTube with access to the PlayStation S, so give me a bit of a break please. Now. Onto the theory. I've just seen Monster Reunion. I'd say it's been the best episode, in my opinion, so far this season. Like, I love the others, they're so close, but Monster Buddy, well, Monster Reunion, it just takes the cake because Cenobiel was a brilliant person to bring in at the very beginning of the show as a great villain, uh, well, temporary villain. Then Monster Buddy, I just love to see how Steven tried his best to help her. It didn't work, but you saw how she, uh, well, tried and she saved him. Learned a tiny bit more about Corruptogen, but Monster Reunion gave me so much info and came, just giving me a feel like when I was watching the episode, I went, hold up a second, that could be something. Now, I will end up spoiling the episode, so I will give you a few seconds to get off the video, because like I said, you need to watch this episode, it's a class video. I'll give you five seconds. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, just a few. Okay, so you want to know my theory. Now, when Steven's trying to understand Sabiel, trying to communicate with her, we see how it fails originally with writing, because she ends up writing in gem language, and Steven doesn't know it. Then she ends up drawing what's happened, saying and how the diamonds told her, her and her fleet need to go to Earth. You know, basically when they first got there. Then it showed off how the Civil War started and we saw how she was showing how all the gems were just being broken, shattered, or anything defeated. Then we saw how she got separated and then the eventual evacuation of the planet. Now at the end of the story basically, we see how Centipede will he is a sound like a song and a flash of light and all she sees is the diamond symbol. Now, what Sampiel said, that's the last thing she remembers. So this means this caused her to go corrupt. Which meant, from my analysis, the, the diamonds corrupted all the gems. Now I bet you're going, hold up a second, why would they corrupt all the gems? Think about it. This way, it wouldn't mean they have to deal with the, these gems following them back, and if any had survived the corruption blast, they would be too weak and wouldn't have the tech to help because a lot of them, well, you know, would have ended up corrupted. Any intelligent one, any ship flyers, any captains. But here's the thing I bet you're going, hold up a second, how isn't it lapis, garnet, pearl? Amethyst, Rose, or any of the other gems we have met haven't corrupted. Now here's the thing I'm thinking. Now, by the looks of it, this blast music or whatever they used corrupted gems that were not protected. Now, by the looks, now Lapis would protect it because she was bubbled slash corrupt slash cracked slash in a mirror. So that meant she is likely one that affected her as much since a crack gem would normally end up being dead and since he was in an object it's likely that g gave her a bit of protection so that's pretty good and it's likely Rose protected everyone because as Greg said the end of season one before Steven went to take on Jasper and Peridot with the others he said that Rose used her shield to save all of her closest friends so that means Rose saved everyone from the corrupted blast, likely. Which is pretty cool. Which would also say Rose's shield can deflect corrupted blast, which is pretty cool. But back to the theory. So that means the diamonds were the ones who caused all the corrupted gems. That would be brilliant. And the thing is, that would mean that'd be a good bit of an advantage for them if they were to come back to Earth with an invading fleet. Now, like I said, this is a theory, so it's not 100% sure, I, <laughs> but i say it's a really good idea, and I would love it to end up true, and it would really put the fuel in for wanting to get back at the diamonds. Heck, I think even Steven, if it turned out true, I think even he would have trouble trying to redeem them like he's done with Peridot, Lapis, and all that. But, 
like I said, we'll need to find out later in the series. And I have to say though, like I said, the episode was brilliant, it ended on a really touching note. And not to mention, once again, proved how serious the diamonds are. But, I also like to point something out. Now, as some people pointed out, there were only three diamonds, so it's likely but during the war, they removed Pink Diamond's symbol, which means it could confirm that Rose Quartz is Pink Diamond. That's sort of a bit of a bonus bit for the already famous theory she was Pink Diamond or she killed Pink Diamond. So that's pretty cool. So we know she killed that she was at least dead by the end of the war or out by the end of the war. Now that's all for today. If you want me to do more Steven Universe theories, comment down below, like the video and share it. It really helps. And like I said, Comment down below, and if you want to talk to me, I'd be great. I love talking to my subscribers and hopefully getting more. It's worked out pretty well so far. Have a good day. Normandy signing out once again. Peace.